So today I just wanted to take a quick look at the 1995 uh, film The Girl with the Hungry Eyes. This was based off of a short film, uh, this was based off of a short story written by Fritz Leiba. Um, to my understanding he is a American author um, who primarily um, I guess you could say specialized in science fiction horror uh, type genre work but um, I guess you could say the uh, young woman in the short story is more of a psychic vampire she's not uh, like the traditional blood-sucking sort so this film is a very loose adaptation um, the pretty much the only thing that's kept in similarly is of course the girl in the uh, short story was a pinup girl and the girl in the film is a model so I'm going to say right off the bat this is my second time watching the film I did not like it much better than I did the first time first time obviously I went into it blind I didn't know what to expect I absolutely hated it this second time I definitely went into it willing to be a lot more accepting and open-minded since I had already seen the film, I already knew what to accept, expect, but honestly it's it's just a bad movie. Um, the acting is very bizarre and I'm assuming that's by uh, design. So the young woman in the film, Christina Fulton, was an actual supermodel. She's definitely a very pretty um, you know, definitely very easy on the eyes, but I don't know if it's just the way that she was act uh, directed to carry herself in certain scenes. Uh, some of her mannerisms are very uh, exaggerated, very bizarre facial expressions. It kind of gives me the impression that this was more of from the, um, I guess you could say, film nouveau uh, period within the 90s, which I'm not really too sure if that's what they were going for or if they were just kind of trying to be more of like an experimental uh, type film but you know it, it definitely certain mannerisms or just uh, ways that uh, words are enunciated like um, accents that are applied just for a certain effect um, pushed me out of the story so it was kind of hard to uh, to like really get into the story and stay there in the moment so that made it a bit difficult uh, for me. Of course, those of you who are familiar with the name Christina Fulton, once again, she was a supermodel, very pretty. Um, she was also a partner of Nicolas Cage, so you may also recognize her name from there. But very honestly, it's it's hard for me to think of the, the title of the film, The Girl with the Hungry Eyes, without thinking Eric Carmen. Of course, that was a completely different set of hungry eyes. But I don't know. It's for some reason I just kind of hear the chorus pop into my head um, as I as I think of the title of this film. And um, no, definitely a no. <laughs> um, but um, it it's definitely starts off interestingly enough. You've um, I believe we're in the nineteen uh, twenties era, give or take, um, when the film opens up. So it opens up as a period piece, you have a woman who uh, her significant other has cheated on her, she commits suicide within this uh, very uh, very lush hotel. So we skip to the present day, which was the 90s at that time, and <laughs> very oddly enough she is reawakened by um, a thunderstorm or an electrical current. So she's a vampire who was reawakened by the Frankenstein effect. She was basically just shocked back to life, which to me is just very odd because, you know, her body would have, in my opinion, should have deteriorated by then, but she was, you know, perfectly fleshy just fine when she is shown being struck by the lightning, so, you know, definitely a huge plot hole there, plus why would she have been left hanging there, you know, logically she would have been taken down given a proper burial um, instead of just left up as an ornament, but, um, whatever, it's just a movie. Um, so she is reawakened. She still has the, um, I guess you can say, the safe deposit box key with the, the deed to the hotel. So for some odd reason she does want to um, restore the hotel. For some odd reason I guess she feels that this would uh, redeem her or give her some kind of peace. It's not really 
understood how or why, but as she goes along on her vampiric killing spree, um, it is understood that the the entity of the hotel and the woman are very closely tied. As she drains the life from someone, new life springs up inside the hotel, so the electrical wiring starts working. It, begun, it begins uh, gradually just looking more lively. Um, she does find a young man who is a photographer. She works with him as a model. Um, there are definitely some very obvious Theta Barra references um, during these modeling sequences, which she does twice um, during the film. Of course, the first time I had seen this, I was not familiar with Theta Barra, so I had no idea what on earth this woman was doing. To me, it was just more of her weirdo, bizarro stuff. But, you know, upon the second viewing, I was like, ah, I see that. So, you know, there, there are definitely, I guess you could say, some subtle references. So, I mean, if, if you're in the know, you're in the know. The film itself, I mean, it, it had potential. I think the directing could have been handled more differently. I think, for me, the main issue is, once again, the acting. I'm That's, that's the one thing that just really throws me off. I mean, everyone else was fine. Um, it was basically just uh, Miss Fulton's acting that just really threw me off because she's in some scenarios she is just very over the top um, as far as like facial expressions the way she walks um, it, it's very um, it's very caricature um, but not vampire caricature she's not doing uh, Bela Lugosi she's definitely doing her own thing here um, but that's really the only thing that just kind of throws me for a loop I mean I I want to like the movie, but I, I just can't, um, which is kind of unfortunate. But um, you also do have like this subplot with the photographer. He's kind of like indebted to some loan sharks, and he's basically just kind of counting on uh, this young woman selling her photos so that he can get out of his debt. And of course, being a vampire, everyone is just very drawn to her so the work just basically just rolls right in because everyone you know wants to see her they want her promoting their their product their item ultimately um, does she achieve her goal yes um, how I'm not going to tell you I will leave that to you if you want to um, take a look at this film and uh, I guess form your own opinions on this bizarro acting that just really throws me off but um, that is pretty much all I have for you guys today, and I will talk to you later.